Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the following chart shows the crossover frequencies for genes on an autosome non-sex chromosome construct the chromosome map. Take a look, imagine that this is two homologous chromosomes and here we have in one locus gene A and in another locus gene B and the greater distance between two genes, the higher chance that crossing over would happen between these two genes. But what would happen if you'll move gene B closer to the gene A, say, in this new position. And as you see, the frequency of the crossing over would be greatly reduced because frequency of the crossing over directly correlates with the distance between two genes. Now we can solve this problem and also you have to know that uh, frequency of the recombination in percent also equals to map units. So if we have recombination frequency between gene Q and S 17% that means 17 map units. And again you never can find um, distance between two genes more than 50 map units. So let's take first the set of genes with highest recombination frequency and this is going to be gene Q and S. So let's highlight that we work with this set of genes. Let's say this is going to be a fragment of the DNA and here is going to be a gene Q and here is going to be gene S and we have between them 17 map units. Our recombination frequency is going to be 17%. Now let's take another set of genes with highest frequency and this is going to be genes Q and R but this time take a look. Gene R whether it can be to the left to the gene Q, so it can be here or it can be here. So two variants are possible, which one to choose? And we can answer this question if we'll have a fragment with a frequency between gene R and S. So whether it's going to be very close and small frequency or if it is going to be large frequency between gene R and S which exceeds 17% then this is going to be the correct position of the gene R. But take a look we do not have such a fragment which represent gene S and R. So so far we don't know which variant to choose but we can put that distance between Q and R is 13% or 13 map units. But again this is under the question where is the position of the gene R here or here. Next set of genes with highest recombination frequency is going to be set P and S and again we can plot uh, gene P. So we have S here. So P we can plot 12 map units whether to the right of the S or to the left of the gene S. So one variant to the right and gene P can be whether here or to the left of the gene S and it's going to be somewhere here. And we told that the distance is 12 map units between gene P and S. Or if gene P is going to be here then 12 map units is going to be between gene S and P. So let's show it's here. Again we have two variants whether gene P is going to be here or here. Now we can answer where is a gene P if we'll have a fragment Q P. And we do have such a fragment Q and P 5% recombination frequency that give us information that 
GNP cannot be here. Otherwise, recombination frequency is going to be much more than 5%. So 12, per, uh, 12 MAP units here and uh, 17 MAP units as you see here. So would be 29. So we can reject this variant of the position of the gene P. And now we know that gene P is going to be here. So we also can highlight the set of genes. We know position of the gene P and Q. This is only one variant and recombination frequency is going to be 5% between these two genes or five map units. Now let's find where is the position of the gene R, whether it have to be here or here. So we have a fragment PR 8%. This is our last set of genes. Take a look, 8% if between gene P and R, so P, we know position, and R 8% here. We didn't calculate yet, but it's very possible. But is it possible that gene R is going to be here? 5% recombination between P and Q and 13% between Q and R would give us 18%. So no way that between P and R we can get 8%. So this gives us information that this position of the gene R is wrong. And now let's check between P and R, 8% recombination frequency or 8 MAP units. So we know between Q and S, 17%, between Q and P, 5%, so 17 minus 5 is going to be 12, 12 MAP units between P and S, and this gives us information that between gene P and R is going to be 8%. So 5 plus 8 would give us 13. 13 percent recombination frequency between gene R and Q, R and Q, 13%. So everything is according to this table and the order of the genes, as you see, is Q, P, R, S. Another possible variant would be uh, if we flip this chromosome, then it's going to be S, R, P, Q. But no any other variants are possible according to this table. And between uh, gene Q and S, which represent um, two and of the chromosomes, we shouldn't get more than 50 MAP units. In our case, it is 17 MAP units. So, so far, it's also meets requirements of the theory that between two genes on the very end of the same chromosome, we cannot get recombination frequency more than 50% and we cannot get more than 50 MAP units. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.